Hey girl, hey, it's your Nessa K and welcome back to my channel, y'all. I got a new phone, so I had to uh, turn it on. Uh, I had to get up and turn it on and turn it off. So I know it's a different way that I know how I can do this, but right now, you guys, I am like so hungry. So I just wanted to come in and um, do this quick video with you guys. So, yeah, so how are you guys doing today? Myself, I am doing just fine. And you know what? I really can't remember if I said, hey, girl, hey, it's your girl, Mr. K, and welcome back to my channel. So today, you guys, like I said, I am coming in with some food that I uh, put together. On Facebook the other day, one of the ladies had shared this, uh, this here uh, mac and cheese bowl. I guess it's from KFC. Yeah, it is from KFC, and they supposed to be um, putting that back in the uh, in the restaurant starting Monday. And so when she shared it, I looked at it. I said, "Oh my God, that looks good!" And I've been craving for uh, mac and cheese anyway. And I'm not too good in making mac mac and cheese because every time I make it, the it's it's just don't be right. I just put it just like that. And uh, so this time, I just took my time and I just made these mac and cheese. And my mac and cheese is at the bottom. And then on the top, I do have me some homemade popcorn or uh, chicken. This is some homemade uh, mac and cheese. And then I have some homemade pop popcorn chicken. And then I do have some three cheese on top. But that's what the recipe called for. And that looked so good. And I said, when I be out work, the next time I'm out work, I am going to make me some of this because I love me some mac and cheese. And this is my first time making it, making it right because I was... Uh, I was watching this mac and cheese like a hawk, honey, because I do not, I did not want to mess this mac and cheese up, okay? So, yeah, and right here, I just have me some uh, taco fries, you know. I just got some um, steak fries at the bottom, and then I have some hamburger meat, which I put taco seasoning in it, and then I got, like, um, some little uh, green onion, and I got some lettuce on top, so... That's how they look, just like that. And then right here, you guys, I always know the girl got her Dr. Pepper. And then right here, you guys, I love these here so much. I just tried these here. Um, what today? Today is Friday. So Wednesday was the first time that I tried these. And they do have them in, in well, they're supposed to have them in, in, our, in my local uh, grocery store, but they don't. But in the town where I work at, they do have these munchies. They are the portable pickle bread and butter chips. And they made with sea salt. And this is how they look. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, but that's how they look. Just like that. And these things are amazing. Taste so good. So I got them in this clear bowl. Because it has a lot of juice in it. And I do not want to waste it. So, yeah, you guys. I am so glad to be back. I thought I wasn't going to be able to come back. Because I had so much going on. And in the last two days, I done put, put in 32 hours. So I'm kind of like tired, tired. But anyway, I just want to come in. It's probably maybe uh, after 10 o'clock tonight. And I just want too long. Woke up probably, what, maybe about two hours ago. You know, when I wake up, I have to sit around for a minute so I can wake all the way up, okay? So, and while I was sitting there, I thought about these mac and cheese. Because when I was at work, that's when I seen the post on Facebook with one of the ladies had made. And I said, I am going to give this a try. And like I said, there's some homemade mac, mac and cheese, homemade chicken tenders. Which, yeah, the chicken tenders is what I use. I cut them up in small pieces. And then I put uh, the Kraft 3 cheese on top of it. Let's see. Let me show y'all a little. One more time. So, yeah, that's how that look. And I've really been craving mac and cheese. So, let's get into this. And you know what, you guys? I miss you guys so much. And you know what? I think I did a good job. For me, the um, first time to make some mac, mac and cheese. And this here is my uh, chicken tender. And I didn't cook these long at all. Because I didn't want them hard. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. These here are delicious. And then I put two types of cheese in here. I had some cheese sauce already in the um, cabinet. 
And then I had some uh, Belvedere cheese sauce. So I added both of them in here. I wish I would have felt like doing this recipe in front of you guys. Mmm. Oh my God, y'all. This is so freaking good. And I thought these bread and butter chip would go good with this. So I thought. Yeah, when I saw that recipe, I said, I'm going to get on this. And like I said, they will be in the hell. This here recipe, this um, mac and cheese bowl will be in the KFC stores on Monday. So, I just went on and made my little copycat version real quick. Which I'm sure you guys uh, probably already seen it. The, uh, the post that they made about the uh, mac and cheese bowl. These are my, uh, I got the steak fries. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's why I'm trying to avoid doing it dropping. Mmm. Mmm. I wish I had some of these before, but I had the nacho uh, fries. But basically, I season it the same way, put it in the oven, cook me some hamburger meat. And and I got I do have some sour cream on top, and I just uh, put some cheese on top of the uh, hamburger meat. I layered my steak fries. Put the hamburger meat on top, put some cheese on top of that. And then I cut up me just a little lettuce and some green onion. And then I put me some uh, Taco Bell uh, mild sauce on top of it. And then uh, two squirts of sour cream. Because I got the squeeze bottle of the sour cream. I'm going to have to stop buying it because it's just so messy from time to time. I'm squirted. It just pop off everywhere. Mm. This is good. I thought I had three forks. One fork for this and one for this and one for this. I don't know what my other fork is. Mm. Mm. Let me show y'all a piece of this meat inside of it. I don't know if y'all can see it because I do have my phone like a ways away from me. It was hard fixing this this setup today. But I got it together. And here I am. So this how the banana bread and I mean the but bread and butter <laughs> chip look mm-hmm mm, them things are so good one of the ladies had brought some to work uh Wednesday and I tried to eat them all and then I when I got out of work that next morning I went to my local grocery store to uh, to see that they have them in there but they didn't because she had bought them in the town where we work at. So, so when I got out of work this morning, I went straight to the uh, grocery store in that town and uh, bought me four, four packs of these. They are the Mount Olive Munchies. 88 cents. Mm -hmm. This is like really good for me to make some mac and cheese by myself. Because like I said, I always mess the mac and cheese up every time I used to cook it. And my kids love mac and cheese. But for some reason, I always messed it up. But I said I was just going to stand there and I was going to watch it. Because I done had a few people to make me some mac and cheese because I couldn't make it. But um, so now I said I am too old for this to not even know how to make mac and cheese, okay? Which I'm sure a lot of us have something that we really can't make, but mac and cheese is like really one of them. So, I took my time 
when I um got myself together and I went on in that kitchen, honey, and put this here um mac and cheese bowl together. And that's what they're gonna call this here, the mac and cheese bowl. The KLC mac and cheese bowl. And I'm not gonna come uh, hold y'all hold you guys too long because like I said, I got a new phone. And I don't know how long it's going to um, record. So, if it cut off, I'll just go ahead and finish eating this. Or if I get full, i just uh, end the video. Because I, I can feel myself getting full now, maybe because I'm drinking that Dr. Pepper. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is so good. So cheesy, and the tunas are the popcorn chicken is perfect, just like I would like them if I was to go to Sonic's. But they cook there, it's too hard, they'd be so down hard. You can't even hardly taste the meat. And I want my meat, okay, because I like white meat, this is like my favorite, but but I don't like, like it cooked hard. And yes, I miss you guys so, so, so much. Like, I work Wednesday and Thursday at the hospital. But Thursday morning, I went to see my patient that I, I went to home health. And I did her. Then when I got off, I didn't get about like three hours of sleep. Then I had to be at the hospital. And when I got off this morning, Friday, I had to go back to the hospital. I mean, when I, I mean, I had to go back to my patient. And then when I left her, I was so exhausted, so freaking tired. I'm working both of them two jobs, one in the morning time, one at night. It's kind of, it, it's kind of, I can feel it now. But I'm going to keep on pushing. But I ain't going to, I'm going to try not to overwork myself, though. If I can get enough sleep, I'll be okay with it. But sometimes when I get home and, Thinking I'm gonna lay down and go to sleep. Sometimes I just can't. So I just watch me some TV or some YouTube videos or and then just go to sleep. As I'm watching some videos or TV, sometimes it'll put me straight to sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The sour cream gives it the best taste. We are 13 minutes. And this is my first time recording on this phone. So I, I don't think I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try to go to 15 minutes. And this is a good little combination that I put together, y'all. It might seem weird, but actually, this really is good. I got steak taco fries. That's what I'm going to call this. Steak taco fries. <laughs> um, mac and cheese. Popcorn chicken bowl. <laughs> and then I got my bread and butter chips. I don't know. It, whatever I put it for the title. You'll see it. But yeah, again, I miss you guys so freaking much. I really do. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. I know y'all probably see my big old belly, but my background was trying to come down because I had took it down and uh, and I just put it back up. to do this video. So y'all excuse me. This mac and cheese is good. And I season my um my popcorn chicken the same way that I season my uh, steak fries. So both of them have the same taste and it tastes amazing. Like paprika, paprika cayenne pepper, uh, I even put Old Bay season in it, seasoned salt, uh, and I did put some meat tenderizer on my uh, 
chicken tender salt, black pepper, um, onion powder. You know, I, I season, I will, each season that I use, I season, I used it lightly, but because I didn't want it to be so salty, y'all. Yeah. And I see we're already at uh, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I just wanted to come in and do a video because I hadn't did one in a while because I've been working so much trying to save up some money. But... Like I said, I was going to make this video to like 15 minutes, but I'm going to continue to uh, eat my uh, food. So, yeah, and I thank you guys so much for tuning in and checking out this video. And if y'all want me to do a cooking video on how I make this here KFC bowl, KFC mac and cheese bowl, because that's what the name is. That's actually what it is. It's a, KF, it's back, it's a KFC recipe. And they will be putting them in each KFC um, lineup or whatever. Uh, what you call it? It'll be on their menu starting this Monday coming up. But anyway, I am kind of full anyway. Because I think I waited too long to eat. These things here are so good. If y'all try these, let me know. Like I said, y'all want me to do a cooking video on how I made this here, just let me know. So I'm pretty ready to end this video because I, I didn't want to make it too long, but I just wanted to stop in and let you guys know I am okay. And this is my weekend off, and hopefully I can get another video up. And so I'm going to try to eat a little bit more of this after I end this video. And, um, and like I said... Earlier, I miss you guys so freaking much, y'all. Just don't know your girl been. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. She been straight hustling, okay? Trying to get them queens, and so yeah. Like always, I love you guys, and I thank you guys so much for tuning in, checking out this video, and I see you guys in the next one. So thank you, bye. Mm -hmm. I got to stand up to cut it off. <laughs>